Hello guys, welcome to my channel Be Anonymous. In this video, I am going to show you how you can solve any max problem within no time. For that, I am going to use Jupyter Notebook. I'll create on new and Python 3. If you want to know how you can download this Jupyter Notebook, uh, you can go into our blog which will be on the description. Now, I am going to use a new module by the name SimPy. For that, I am using every function. So, I am using this command from SimPy import everything. You can see, for suppose, first I will initialize this. I have initialized by giving symbols command. For suppose, I write a function f and exponent of x it is quite common if we want this in a simple form simply writing f and enter you can see e power x it is very cool no yes it will be uh, what if, if i want a matrix for matrix simply i have to write matrix now in the brackets but suppose i want 2 comma 2 matrix 3,4 yes enter you can see here is our matrix per suppose I take this matrix again I will copy it and I give a capital N and equal to I will paste over here and I will change one number and 5 And I print n. You can see. If I want multiplication, I can do it simply m into n. Here is the product one. What if I want the debt? I mean determinant. Simply m dot. I want a determinant of the matrix m. Debt. Simple. Enter. You get minus two. Very simple. Uh, it also gives the eigenvalues for eigenvalues simply m dot you have to type eigen vals and back it close here you go these are the eigenvalue um, here symbol one represent it occurs one time and uh, these are the eigenvalues two eigenvalues that we get we can also solve the factors things let's suppose i am using the factor x to the power 8 minus 1 see here you can see these are the factor 1 you can also use the expand one but suppose i am giving the uh, if i want a derivatives or limits of any function for that simply i want a derivative of what uh, I, let's i give a complicated one sine of cos of x power cube minus 1 and uh, it should be differentiated with respect to x so what i will get the answer you can see very simple with no time i am getting the differentiation if you search in a google it will take a um, much more time what if i want the limit simply by typing limit and using the function let's say i am giving the function as sign of log of and x and with respect to x and 0 any i give any value you can give any value let's say i give, I give 2 you can see sine log 2 it's a very interesting one uh, we can also do the integration thing also let's i want to integrate integrate function i say sine of x square minus 1 and uh, integrate i can give values to uh, such that x and the lower value is 0 and the upper value is 4 what will be our answer you can see this is my answer integrate limit uh, you can also do in this way that if i want the differentiation for two times what i have to do simply here i want the differentiation two times simply i keep x again 
you can see it, it is a two time differentiation it means double de double derivative double derivative is very simple if i want three times simply by giving three yes it's quite an interesting thing you can do how many times you like the differentiation or integration also you can find the series of any number for suppose let's say i want the sin x sin series let's say sin x series from uh, series uh, from where to where let's suppose i want uh, 0 to 6 here it only gives me here i have to mention this one too let's see. here you go this is my sin x series over there you can choose anything you can use any series depending on your choice and uh, you can also solve uh, different equations with it but let's suppose i have an equation in this type let i give equation um, for that equation we need two variables for the so x comma y i will take two variables and uh, symbols as you know now i am giving x and y and now let's say equation 1 is equals to x square plus y plus 2 and second equation e2 you can simply write x cube plus 5 no, I want to know. I want to solve this too. How can I simply solve equation one and equation two? There you go. There is no such thing that equation one and equation two is satisfied. But suppose I write in the x square, we will see the answer. What we will get? Solve equation one and equation two. Oh, sorry, this is not such thing. We have to insert in another brackets. Now it will show the result. Or it has initially first I said for cube also it will show the result. Yes, for cube also it shown me the result. You can see over here. It is very easy. Now I want to plot any graph. I want any graph. And searching in internet graphs is very difficult for us. Through Python, it is everything is easy. For that I have to import plotting from simpy dot plotting i will import plot as you can see now if i take the function f is equals to sine of x no not x we have to take complicated one cos of log of cos of x if you find in internet you will not find it i'm sure you may not find you have to go to some other websites and searching it it will take a lot of time this let's i will show the result of it you can see this is the graph it's a very interesting now let's i want to plot tan x Here you go, tan x graph. No, I want to plot log of exponent of x. Log of exponent of x. Here you go, we will get a straight line. Let's I think I have to plot tan of cos of log of x square minus 1. x square minus 1 wow what a fantastic graph uh, let's think i want to plot x square you will get yes uh, as we know it is a parabola what if i need to plot y square x into y equals to zero i think yeah this one you can see x into x y is equals to zero how you get the two dimensional figure yeah it's a cool thing so very interesting thing also 
through this uh, Jupyter notebook you will be knowing everything you can draw anything and you can solve any problem and uh, hope you like this if you like this one please share subscribe and share with your friends and let's meet in the next video